At rest, the cup experiences a force downward due to gravity and an upward force from the tray. These cancel out so that the cup does not fall. Circular motion, there is still a force downward due to gravity. When the tray is upside down, the cup is not being supported by the tray. However, the water does not spill because it is experiencing an upward force due to the circular motion. This force, which is the centrifugal force, cancels out the force of gravity and causes tension on the string. On Earth, the force of gravity equals mass times gravitational acceleration, where the gravitational acceleration equals 9.8 meters per second squared. Centrifugal force is equal to mass times the velocity squared all over the radius. For this experiment, I've estimated that the mass is equal to 0.4 kilograms. The velocity is equal to 5 meters per second and the radius is equal to 0.8 meters. At rest, the force of gravity is equal to 0.4 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. This gives us 3.92 newtons. In motion, the centrifugal force is equal to 0.4 kilograms times 5 meters per second squared all over the radius of 0.8 meters. This equals 12.5 newtons. The centrifugal force cancels out the force due to gravity. The additional force causes tension on the string.